So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all click on start lab and open the cloud console incognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically sometimes you may be prompted to enter the username and password for that check the lab for it now click on i understand now just activate your cloud shell basically we are activating the cloud shell here click on continue and just authorize yourself Now let me increase the font size. Now in the description box of this video, I've shared one repository. We'll be using it. Now here you have to follow this video carefully. And if you miss a single step, you won't be able to get the score. Now let's wait for this step to complete. And then we have to run the data flow jobs. Okay, we'll meet after some time. Now here basically once it's done you have to just click on open data flow console you have to click on that link and then we have to create a data flow jobs now here we have to just type the job name from that come to task number five copy the name from here like this Copy carefully and paste over here. Now the region will be as per lab instruction. Now for the template, copy it carefully. Just paste here and select it and now wait for a few seconds. It will be updated over here. So now here we have to add some values. So just copy from here one by one and just paste it. Okay. sure there is no extra space or full stop so once it's done we have to just run the job okay come down over here yes click on run job now basically what we need to do we have to just check the score for the remaining task and see whether we get score or not for first second task we got the score basically the last two tasks are remaining so for that wait for the job to get started it is currently in queued state so sometimes what happens the job fails then you need to come back to the cloud shell again and recreate this data flow jobs again okay so that's how we have to complete you have to recreate this data flow job it's queued okay or you can do one thing if you get any failed issue you can just restart the lab also there are multiple things to consider okay now once it shows running we will be moving to the cloud shell okay wait for at least two to five minutes you can wait for at least three minutes minimum i think Now wait for at least two to five minutes and then come back here and hit enter now after that we have to verify one active change log table basically table and once it is visible we will be done with the lab so let's wait Now what you need to do here, you have to just open the BigQuery URL and check the score, okay? And for the last task, as I said, we need to wait for some time till the active change log is visible. So let's check the score here. So we are not getting on this score. Basically, what you have to verify, let me show you. First of all, open the BigQuery console. Now here you can see the job is running it's not failing if it fails you have to just restart it okay basically recreate it to be more precise now here 
let's check the score we got the score for data flow job now only last task is remaining so here click on done now you have to click on like this wait a second now here here in this section an active change log table will be shown so like this you can see here it will show so wait till it gets populated it may take four to five minutes sometimes even less and sometimes even more so you have to just keep refreshing after one minute so you can see i got this table that means we have completed this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel have a great day ahead thank you